everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And today is a very exciting day here on the homestead. The first babies of 2018 were born. Unfortunately, I messed up. Now, um, these were supposed to be um, bunnies for me to try to sell for Easter. Um, I was going to try to do that a little bit this year just to see if maybe we could generate a little bit of income off of the rabbits, but I grossly miscalculated because if you know anything, um, Easter is about four weeks away from today, uh, so April 1st, today is March 1st, and in order to sell uh, rabbits, I want my bunnies to be about eight weeks old, and so... I grossly miscalculated, but no big deal. We'll eat our mistakes here, and uh, so no worries. But I just wanted to show you the uh, baby bunnies. Now, you can't really see a whole lot, but we'll come on in here into the raking and uh, spin this around right here. So this is Mommy, and her babies are in the nest right there. So I'm not going to bother her too much. I don't want her to uh, smush them. But uh, she's in there, and uh, the babies are in there. They're wiggling around, and um, so I'm not going to bother her too much. This one over here, I also grow at the same time, and so I'm going to be moving her over to this cage, and I need to put a base in the bottom of this. So I'm going to grab this here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and leave Mama. But uh, Mama is in there with the kids, and uh, so very excited about the first babies of 2018 here on the homestead. So, actually, um, I built these nesting boxes um, a couple of years ago with no bottom. Um, and I did that because I had one that had a bottom and it was really getting all messed up. And so, what I decided to do was I thought, man, I'll be smart. I'll build it with no bottom. I'll put cardboard on it. And uh, then that way I can just tear the cardboard off each after each use and we'll be good to go. Well, last year, uh, the first year it worked fine. Last year though, um, my uh, mama rabbit there kept tearing up the cardboard and uh, trying to use it as nesting material. And so, um, when she had the baby, she had them on the wire, it was cold, they froze. So I've gotten smart and I've gone ahead and I've attached some wood to the bottom of the nesting box she has. But on this one here, I have a bunch of um, tops to totes. It's like around here for some reason, I don't know why, but we, it's like our totes mate and have baby tops. I probably have 25 or 30 um, tops to totes for totes that I can't find, Rubbermaid totes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to cut out around this and I'm gonna actually try to use the top of a Rubbermaid tote that I'm gonna cut out and put in the bottom of this nesting box. All right, so let me just go ahead and show you my plan here um, with regard to putting bottoms in. This is the... Um, Get a shot of that. So this is the nesting box that I uh, built a couple of years ago. You can see they've chewed on it a little bit here, um, but no bottom. And uh, so what my plan is to do is to take one of these lids. Like I said, I have totes that just seem to breed these things. I, I probably have 35 or 40 of these lids to totes that I no longer know what happened to them. Although this one here, I know what I did with these totes. These I actually turned into nesting boxes for my uh, mobile coops. Um, but uh, anyhow, so I've got all these lids. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace uh, around the base of this here. So I'm going to trace around that base. And then I'm going to cut it out using my uh, knife here very carefully. And, uh, and then I'm going to staple it onto the bottom. So stand by, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this out and then we'll be back and we'll staple it on there and then we'll go ahead and uh, put this in with the uh, other 
um, female rabbit, the other doe, and uh, hopefully tomorrow we will have some more kits. So stand by, let me get this cut out, we'll be right back. All right, so here's the piece that I've got ahead and I've cut out. And uh, so what we're gonna do is flip this right up upside down. Gonna line this up. And then I'm just going to uh, use my staple gun here. And we're gonna go ahead and staple this to the bottom, hopefully. All right, and so there we have it. I've put the bottom in here. The nice thing about this is it's plastic, so I can rinse it out. Um, but if it gets too icky, I just tear this bottom piece off. I'll put another one on here. So those uh, tote lids aren't doing me any good. So we're gonna reuse, repurpose, recycle, whatever you wanna call it. And uh, now we have a bottom for the nesting box that the uh, doe won't tear up. She can't get it off. And uh, so I'll put this in there, put some hay in there, let her make a nest. She'll pull hair as well, and um, we'll see if we get some more kits. Now, one of the things um, that uh, I'm keeping an eye on, this is a first-time uh, mom. This is the first time I've ever bred her. Uh, she was one of the uh, um, females that was uh, born last year, and uh, so excited to see whether or not she'll be a good mom or not, and um, whether or not we get any kits. Um, unfortunately, it's, it's been beautiful the last couple days. And uh, unfortunately, it's supposed to get cold and more snow uh, over the weekend. And so why they can't um, kindle when the weather is beautiful out, I don't know. But uh, it is what it is. My grandfather used to say, whether the weather be cold, whether the weather be hot, the weather's the weather, no matter the weather, whether we like it or not. So until next time, everybody, thanks so much for tuning in to 3B TV. Please like, share, subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Uh, let us know that, and if not, let us know that as well. Um, trying to get better at this, and uh, so the only way we're going to get better is by hearing your feedback and uh, paying attention to it. And uh, so, uh, go ahead and s click the uh, uh, bell below to receive notifications, uh, so you know when we put up another video. Uh, eventually, I'm going to try to get to doing a schedule. My focus the first couple of months has been more on just putting together content and really getting, trying to get good or at least better at uh, filming, cinematography, my delivery, and uh, hopefully you've seen improvements in the way that we edit. And so eventually what I'd like to do is get to a spot to where I'm putting out on a regular basis, on a scheduled basis, um, you know, videos. But uh, right now it's just been more of a focus on really trying to get some content onto our channel. And uh, so hopefully you've been enjoying that and um, we'll just try to, to keep producing some good content. So anyhow, thanks so much. We'll catch you later.